The prophet said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal, the Antichrist, and I am afraid that you are not to understand. Look like the more Muhammad explained, the more Muslims get confused. Have you ever heard somebody saying, I, told, I explained to you too much to the point I'm worried you don't understand. Have you ever heard of a stupid comment like this? A brother and sister. Is that here? How in the world you got in the line with us? First and breath. I'm going to explain the hadith and bleed. Give me time. Name on you. Uh, okay, Zakir, uh, go ahead. I'm listening. Prophet of Allah, he explained to us a lot about the Daddal. Who? The Daddal. Uh, you mean the Dajjal? Exactly. Uh, okay. Breath and breath. They don't interrupt me. When you interrupt me, you get the idea out of my head. Uh, okay, sorry. Go ahead. To Allah, Prophet, he explained to us about the Daddal. And he was worried that because he explained too much, we can't understand. Hey, hold on, Zakir. Like, how you explain too much and now we can't understand? Christian Prince, first of all, the Prophet explained him a different kind of repetition. Look, what the heck? What? What, what? what you just said? Just repeat again? It kind of different level. Ah, different level. Okay, but what kind of level? All the explanation, he's still worried that he explained nothing yet. So, what's the point of the previous explanation? If he is worried that because he spoke too much about it, you don't understand. Isn't he the smart one who speak less and make a point? Prince and Prince, first of all, we are Muslims. We are not like you. Hey, I understand. You got a point there. Exactly. So the Prophet of Allah, he have to explain very much. And the more he explain, the more he confuse us. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Exactly. So the Prophet, he explained very much. He gave us a class number one, class number two, class number three, class number four, class number... And even I graduated from the high school. Still, he is explained to us. Hey, okay, after all the explanation, what happened? It's still we don't understand. Mm -hmm. So now, how we guarantee that this one is going to explain to you all the previous explanation? Breath and breath. Read really carefully. It says that the Prophet of Allah, he said, the Antichrist is short. Are you short, Christian Prince? Uh, very short, yeah. Exactly. I know it. I am very tall and you are very short. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, he make Allah. Thank you, Allah, for making Christian Prince very short. Christian Prince, I knew it. And you know that, okay, you know, I'm not going to put you down because you are short and because I'm tall. Zach and I just, was just joking. Christian Prince, I get you busted. I get you corded. You are short and you know it. Hey, okay, no problem. Whatever you say. The Antichrist is short. And? Christian Prince. The Antichrist is short, and he is untold, and will heard, and one-eyed, and eyesightless. Okay, what does this have to do with Allah? And neither bird reading or leaves he did. What the heck? We are talking about his ass now? Exactly. Okay. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one-eyed. What does that mean? Listen, Prince. Prophet of Allah is saying to us that Antichrist, he looks exactly like Allah. Ah, so Allah is not uh, deep-seated? Exactly. And Allah is not, is Allah is short? Zakir? Zakir, is Allah short? Zakir, where you go? Zakir? It turned to be that Allah is short. Because he looked exactly like the Antichrist. The only difference between them is one eye. And remember, the Antichrist is a man. And now Zakir Naik, he took a hike. Because it turned to be that Allah is short. And the short Allah is equal to a short man. And this man is a person trying to clone Jesus. You see, actually in Arabic, it doesn't say the word Antichrist. And by the way, Muslims, how in the world do you believe in Antichrist? The second you say believe Antichrist, that means Christ is God. Because this is the devil. You know, Satan is anti who? Anti-man? Who is the man? He's no one for him. He's anti-God. So the second you accept that the Satan, the most powerful creature, is Antichrist, that means Christ is right. Did you notice that Antichrist is not anti-Muhammad? <laughs> People, did you not notice? Did you notice? There is Antichrist, but there is no anti-Muhammad. Why? Because Muhammad is nobody. He is just a child molester. And why Satan will be against Muhammad if Muhammad is serving Satan? Satan is against the one who is trying to compete with him. Or let's say he is trying himself to compete with him. That is God. 
It is obey God because you want to be God.